Mina, konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Let's dig into Job 21. Now, you saw the title of this episode. I directly contradicted yesterday's title. And that was completely on purpose. Just like the verse in Proverbs where the first verse says, it, well, it may not be the first, maybe the second, but there are two verses, and they, one says, respond to the fool and answer him for his stupidity. The other says, do not answer a fool and stoop down to his level of stupidity. And the, the Proverbs is not contradicting itself. It's not a contradiction in the Word of God. There are times where both are true. So with these two titles, in Job chapter 21, let's start at verse 4, let's read the antithesis of what we read in the last chapter. As for me, is my complaint against man? And if it were, why should I not be impatient? Look at me and be astonished. Put your hand over your mouth. Even when I remember, I am terrified, and trembling takes hold of my flesh. Why do the wicked live and become old? Yes, become mighty in power. Their descendants are established with them in their sight, and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of God upon them. Their bull breeds without failure, their cow calves without miscarriage. They send forth their little ones like a flock, and their children dance. They sing to the tambourine and harp and rejoice to the sound of the flute. They spend their days in wealth and in a moment go down to the grave. Yet they say to God, Depart from us, for we do not desire the knowledge of your ways. Who is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit do we have if we pray to him? Indeed, their prosperity is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. So Job's saying the wicked are established. The wicked do not get theirs. The wicked will not get theirs. They get away with this stuff. And there are certainly there are there are there are certainly occasions where that is true. Um, we can think of several world leaders who lived pretty full and long lives, and they didn't go to jail. They didn't suffer from any horrible diseases unbefitting of their time. They may have died in some illness, but a lot of the times older people die in sickness. That's not uncommon or rare. So they didn't suffer anything above and beyond what a normal person of their age would suffer. They, in fact, they had a pretty darn good life and they did as they pleased, taking advantage of people, robbing the poor and driving them out of their homes, killing their enemies and making sure that power remained consolidated in their hands. Um, we can think of some mobsters here in the United States who live pretty full lives and their lives were not cut off short. Their lives were not, um, they weren't put behind bars and their wealth taken from them that they stole dishonestly. I, I would be willing to wager that there are probably some people in power, even in the United States, senators, representatives, who probably do some really, really evil things behind closed doors. They get voted in every two, four, six years. They just keep on coming back because they keep their evil deeds hidden, and the people love them. I don't doubt those things to be true. I still adhere to what I said yesterday. I think the majority of the time, yesterday I said the words like seven or eight times out of ten, the wicked get theirs. I do believe that. There's no statistic proving it um, or saying one way or the other, but... I can just, from what I've seen, from what I've read, to what I currently know, that sounds, feels about right. There's no way to actually verify that. There won't be until we get to heaven and see exactly who was righteous and wicked in their hearts and what they went through in their earthly lives. There will be no way to know until then. Of course, at that point, it will be too late. We won't have earthly standards relegating us or regulating us anymore. But there are certainly times when evil gets away with their stuff, um, when the righteous, like Job, are punished. And there's no good reason for it other than, well, stand firm and steadfast until the end. Endure to the end. Keep serving God. Keep trusting Him. Keep believing in Him. It really will pay off in the end. And it's a test of faith. But there are certainly times when good does not get theirs. Um, and wicked gets way more than they deserve. So both are true. Both sides have equally valid points. And so I just and I also wanted to do the title play. I wanted to acknowledge both sides of the coin. And, and again, with the titles, I wanted to make people think. I love making people think and provoking thought with these messages. So guys, that's it for this message. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. And God bless.